viewers and welcome to another one of my videos. How exciting is that? I know. So today's video is a Q&A. Now why have I got the questions written? I'll tell you why. Because I don't actually know how they put the questions in their videos in other Q&As. So I went through all of the questions and wrote a whole ton of them down. Now that's commitment, just saying. So, get a cup of tea, get comfy, get relaxed, and let's go on a journey of learning about me. So, <clears throat> my first bunch of questions are from prillypop89's dot family. Hi Abby, how you doing? Um, and the first one she asks is, what is my favorite color? My favorite color is teal. I love teal, teal, turquoise, that anything, that kind of variation, I just, I think it's so pretty. Um, along with pink and lilac, I love all those colours. Like these colours in my backdrop here, I, I love, love. Um, who inspires me? So I have four people that inspire me. Three being people that I know and one famous person. So the first one would be my mum. My mum is a huge inspiration in my life. I absolutely adore her. I'm really close with my mum. I'm really lucky. Um, and she's just, she's my best friend. Um, <coughs> ew, excuse me. Uh, the second person would be uh, Michelle, uh, my friend Michelle that passed away. She was an incredibly amazing human. Um, right up until sort of the end of her life, she was so kind and so generous and so caring. And she really um, pushed me to be a better person. She pushed me to be better and pushed me to try harder and I have a lot to thank her for. Um, next would be my friend Maggie. She is such a tenacious human. She is, as most of you know, battling cancer right now. And her ability to stare cancer in the face and go just, stick her middle finger up is unbelievable like I am in awe of her every day um and then my famous inspiration would be Lady Gaga she seems to be a wonderfully genuine human being she seems very kind and caring and very down to earth and a very uh strong businesswoman which I really admire you know she knows her brand she knows her target she's developed many charities and created the house of Gaga and I just I live for that I absolutely live for that most embarrassing childhood memory okay so when I was about 13 or 14 so old enough to know better my mum my nan and my great nan all went to town and I was at home on my own and at that time, I really loved to play Vogue Contest. Um, and I had her dress and I used to run around and, you know, pretend that I was being chased. And uh, I remember playing in the living room. And we, when my sister was little, we had one of those baby swings that hung in the doorway with the hooks. Well, the chair had gone, but the hooks were still in the top of the door frame. And I thought it would be a really good idea to get some rope and I tied one end of the rope around one of my ankles. <laughs> and then I threw the rope over the hooks and tied the other end around the other ankle. And um, I got stuck for like an hour, like no joke, I got stuck. I, <coughs> you can imagine my legs coming down like this in the door frame and then my body going like that as I laid on the sofa. But what I didn't realize, and I don't know how I did it, is I tied the knots in such a way that every time I moved, they tightened. <laughs> oh my God, but the worst part was when my nan, mum and great nan come home, my great nan was just horrified. She was just so horrified. My mum was like, hmm, yep, yeah, this is April. This, this is what she does. My mum was just like, yep, yeah, just gonna put the shopping away and then we'll get you down. <laughs> that was... And do you know, my mum has never let me forget it. She's never, ever let me forget it. She actually brings it up a lot. And I'm just like, thanks for that, mum. Yeah, it's not like I don't remember, so cheers. <laughs> Worst subject at school. 
maths and geography. I am not good with numbers, nor am I good with places. Um, it just, my brain just refuses to register stuff like that. <clears throat> Favourite Disney character? Obviously Ariel, like, come on. But apart from Ariel, I would have to say Pocahontas and Kida. Um, I adore them. I really don't think that Pocahontas and Kida get enough recognition. I think they were such beautifully strong princesses um, who were very forthright in their own minds and what they wanted to do. And I just, yeah, they, they would have to be my favourites. What do I do in my free time? Sims. <laughs> I play The Sims a lot. If it's not simming, it's crafting. Um, Netflix, I spend a lot of time in uh, Netflix. Like, I think last night I was watching um, Schitt's Creek and about three times the Are You Still Watching This came up and I was just like, don't judge me for my pastime. Like, this is, Netflix watching is a sport. It's an actual sport and I'm winning. I'm winning at something in life. Let me have this Netflix. <laughs> Uh, my first fan account, you, Abby. I never, ever, ever thought I would get a fan account. Like, th th even saying that is the weirdest thing in the world to me, just because I, I just didn't think I would ever get popular enough to get one, um, or anything like that. It, it makes me feel very special, and I feel very honoured to have one. But it still shocks me, you know, when you guys post edits of me and stuff like that, I feel very overwhelmed and it is so, so lovely. So, yes, Abby, you were my first and probably my only, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Ever been bullied? Yes, I was heavily bullied in school. Um, I struggled very much with bullying and I wish, because a lot of you guys on TikTok asked me for advice in bullying, and I really wish that I had some. I really wish I could say to you, oh, you need to do this, 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 and this. Um, but I don't. It's unfortunate side effect of school life that we will meet other people that are not keen on who we are as people. But that doesn't mean that you're a bad person. It doesn't mean that you're not worthy. It doesn't mean anything like that. It just means that you don't get along with them and that's okay. You don't have to get along with everybody. Um, but bullying is hard and it's exhausting, you know, but make sure you tell somebody. Um, tell someone that can be physically near you, not just a presence online. Um, that would be the best start. And then, you know, you can work with them on ways that you can help stop this because you don't deserve it. You really don't. Uh, Favourite subject at school, art and drama. I love drawing, um, drawing, crafting, anything like that is really therapeutic for me. Um, and I love acting. I really, really love being able to portray a character and to become a different person. Um, yeah, I, yeah, art and drama were my thing, were my thing. How me and Luke met? We met online, actually. We met on like a music website for heavy metal music. Um, and I remember seeing his picture and just thinking, hmm. Okay, so I sent him a message and we got chatting and uh, at that time we used to use MSN uh, to chat all the time. Every evening we would chat on MSN and uh, webcam and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and then slowly we just kind of built up a relationship and uh, <clears throat> he asked me out on Boxing Day and then he proposed to me six months later and then almost 10 years later here we are in our own home and engaged and plan to be married i mean we've planned to have the wedding like every year since we got engaged but we're getting there what do you know but yeah so online favorite movie favorite movie uh the little mermaid obviously um and harriet the spy that is one of my all-time favorites i don't know why i like it so much i just really really love it um, and I watch it a lot. It's one of the films that I take into hospital with me. So yeah, that would be one of my go-tos. Uh, oh, and Uncle Buck. I love Uncle Buck. Um, yeah, that makes me smile so much. Where would I like to visit? I would love to visit Thailand. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to fly. Um, but Thailand would be my dream destination. I'm really big on elephants. They're my favorite animal. 
I would love to go and visit one in a sanctuary. And I don't mean a sanctuary where you can touch them or anything like that, because that's not what they're there for, but simply one where I could just go and watch um, would be incredible. Absolutely incredible. Favorite holiday? Uh, probably Disney in Florida. I went there when I was 17 and I've never forgotten it since. It was amazing. Like getting to meet all the princesses. Like I know they're not real, but in my head they so are. Um, and getting all of their signatures and their pin badges and everything like that was just an amazing experience. Really, really amazing. Like to sit next to Ariel on a rock my dream come true absolute dream come true <laughs> although when we got to the hotel they didn't know what a kettle was like we said to them is there a kettle in the room and they went kettle and I was like what so we ended up making tea in a coffee maker anyway to get the tea it's how we live Okay, so next my question is from it's underscore brook 305 um, did CF ever affect your relationships? Yes. CF massively affected my relationships. It affected my relationships with my friends. Um, it affected my relationships with my partners. Um, I have in fact been dumped because of my cystic fibrosis. Um, I have lost many friends, not only because of friends that have passed, but people that were healthy who simply um, could not keep up with the fact that I had to cancel plans a lot. I was not well enough to keep up and do the same things as them. But if anything, in some ways, it's made me grateful um, because now I know who the people that I have around me now are the people that love me truly. Um, and they're not just people that are there. Holly underscore Westbrook, how old were you when you found out you had CF? I was uh, two or three days old when I found out I had CF. I can never remember which. I ask my mum all the time. She tells me all the time, but I can never remember which. Con 21 opinion on holographic stuff. Friggin' love it. I have a holographic bag, sliders, and hat. Yes, I have all worn them all together. Yes, I looked amazing. I, I think holographic is so pretty. Um, very alien-esque, and I love that vibe. XOX.LOEZXOX, favourite makeup brands. My go-to would be Barry M. I love Barry M makeup. Um, Sleek as well is another one I really enjoy. Jeffree Star, I love Jeffree Star. He makes such good quality stuff. Um, yeah, they're probably my three favorites. Queen underscore of underscore anxiety. If I could change one thing in the world, what would it be? It's probably a very typical answer that a lot of people give, but it's a genuine one. I would make people a lot more tolerant, a lot more tolerant of cultures and religions and other races, uh, just more tolerance. I think the world would be a much kinder place if we just accepted that this is what people like and people's likes and loves really have no major effect on who we are as people. Um, you know, if someone is gay, that doesn't affect my life. Um, <clears throat> If someone is of a different race, that doesn't affect my life. It doesn't make them any less of a person. Um, and it's the same with religion. A religion doesn't affect my life. You can have any religion you wish, whatever makes you happy. I just think tolerance would, would be so nice. It'd be so nice. Katie Alice X, what do I feel most grateful for in my life? My family. I am ridiculously lucky in the fact that I have a wonderful family um, who have supported me in everything I've wanted to do, every kind of thing I've wanted to be. Um, my mum has always very much been the type of, you know, rolled her eyes but gone, okay April, we'll find some classes, you know. I've done everything from karate to ballet, uh, all this being younger now, I'm not so mobile. Uh, horse riding, guitar, I wanted to do piano, I wanted to do saxophone, um, gymnastics, just tons. I've done so many different things. I have a very short attention span and um, so I get a little bit obsessed with stuff and then within a month or two it kind of dies out a bit. Uh, so yeah, I've tried a lot of stuff and I've had a very lucky life in the fact that I've had family that have supported me regardless of 
what I've wanted to do or be. She also asks, first thing I notice about a person, eyes. I'm huge on eyes, I love eyes. Um, I think you can tell a lot about a person from their eyes. You can tell if they're cold, warm, kind, dark. It really unsettles me when I meet someone and I can't read them because of their eyes. I find that it does tend to take me a minute to warm up to them. Uh, whereas if they have kind eyes, I can be like, okay, you know, you're cool, that's fine. Um, but eyes are my favorite thing. Dot depressed dot bitches. Has CF made you grow up faster or slower? A bit of both in some ways. Um, I would say faster in the fact that I've had to think about my health a lot from a very young age. I've had to have medical experiences that most of the population will not have had to experience and I've had to be very grown up about my health decisions. But also slower. Um, I am quite childish. Um, I enjoy childish things. I am not very responsible. I still love loads of toys and, you know, kids stuff. Like, I get on so well with my niece and she's like three. Um, you know, me and her, we're, we're on the level. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'd say a bit of both. I think having to grow up so quickly in the medical world has certainly, in a way, slowed me down in my everyday life. I, um, yeah, very childish. This person asked me not to put their username. Biggest struggle having CF. Um, there's a couple of things. I would say the death of some friends um, certainly is very hurtful and upsetting and scary. Um, I would also say noticing that I'm getting more unwell, noticing I cannot do things the way that I used to be able to do things is also very, very difficult. I, yeah, I would say they're the most upsetting things is losing people I love and, and getting sicker and not being able to do anything about it. Tiana Langley, what keeps you so positive? Um, so positivity is really difficult. If you think about it as humans, it's very easy to be sad. It's the easiest emotion that we go to. Being happier is a lot more difficult. Don't get me wrong, there are days and times when I get very depressed and I struggle with my depression. But ultimately, I got to a point where I was like, do you know what? I want to be remembered for smiling. I don't want to be remembered for crying and being sad all the time. That's not what I want to achieve with the time that I have left here. I want to make people smile. I want people to look back and go, oh yeah, do you remember when, when April made us laugh? Um, and I think that is really what pushes me to be positive. Um, that is the guide. <laughs> hey Izzy, what makes a good nurse? Kindness and patience. Um, I think <sighs> nursing is very hard and I have such deep respect for all of my nurses. They have become like family to me. I've known most of them for around 15 years and I am very lucky to have the relationship that I do with my nurses um, and with some of my doctors. I think kindness is a huge thing. I think even if a hospital is your workplace, you have to remember that the people coming in, it is not normal for them. This is a frightening experience regardless. And to talk to them like they're a friend and not a number is a huge difference in the response that you will get from them. So kindness and patience by far are the best qualities that I find a nurse can have. Tara underscore is underscore tired. Me too. Um, do you still get periods? Occasionally. So my weight fluctuates a lot and very often I am underweight. And when I am underweight, my periods stop completely. Um, but when I am a healthy weight, uh, I do get them again. So yeah, it, they are very unreliable as well. When I do get them, I can never guarantee how long they'll last. Um, it can be very frustrating. Very frustrating. Hmm, forgot I had tea. KLC123 baby. Why can I be around Magpie, uh, Maggie, if I have CF and she has cancer? Me and Maggie have known each other for over 10 years. 
She is my best friend. She is my heartbeat. She is everything to me. I adore the bones of her. And we take big precautions when it comes to our health. We mask up, we hand sanitize. Um, if either of us has an active infection, we do not touch. We do not uh, in any f shape or form. However, she has been my best friend for over 10 years. And sometimes that comes first. Sometimes that comes first. And that means more than anything, really, anything. Abby has problems. Worst moment of having CF, um, losing Michelle. Losing Michelle, I've lost a couple of big friends before, um, Danny and Pete, they were the first two big CF deaths, um, but Michelle is by far the biggest. Losing her was one of the worst experiences with cystic fibrosis that I have ever had. Um, yeah, that was deep, deep. Um, did your piercings hurt? Depends on which one. So my ears, no. Um, my smiley, surprisingly, is not painful. Uh, out of all of them, I would say that my nose ring was the most painful. The smiley Medusa ears, not at all. I had my septum done for a while, um, which is surprisingly quick, how quick that's done. Um, but afterwards, it doesn't really hurt. But this, yes, this by far was the most eye-watering. And then for like two weeks afterwards, it's so sore because you actually forget it's there. So if you go to wipe your nose or if you wear glasses, I learned this lesson. Do not slide the glasses down the bridge of your nose and smack the piercing. You not believe how many times I did that. Underscore Ruby dot Lynn underscore. Does CF make you less confident? Yes, in some ways. Um, in some ways, it certainly does. It, I would say the coughing is the worst thing that makes me the most less confident because when you have a coughing fit in public, people will stare. Uh, people will move away from you on the bus um, and things like that. Like, I just want to reiterate that CF is not contagious. You cannot catch anything from us. But obviously a lot of people don't understand because you look healthy and then you have this horribly disgusting hacking cough. Um, but yeah, I think in some ways definitely has. Um, but over time I've learned that it is a part of me. It's a part of who I am as a person and I have to make way for it as much as it has to make way for me. Although technically I make the most way, it doesn't really pay attention to me. Jana LVR, why did you start your YouTube channel? So when my friend Michelle passed, um, I made a choice that I was not going to allow her passing to blow away into the wind. I was not going to allow her name to blow away into the wind. I was, I just, I couldn't allow that to happen. So initially I started my TikTok mainly to spread CF awareness and kindness and love and positivity. And then I gained, uh, just now I've, I've reached 40,000 followers on there, which I'm still so shocked about. Um, and then obviously I had people start asking me if I had a YouTube channel and I thought, you know what, this is the best way for me to spread CF awareness and what I need to say to the world. And I'm very lucky to have the platform to do that now. Um, so she was my entire reason for starting it. My channel art that has Keep Shining on the Purple Roses, those are the last words that she wrote to me on my Christmas gift tag, um, and which I have in the back of my phone and I carry with me always. So she is a huge part of this channel. That underscore girl underscore Christy, how did I get my username PrillyPop89? So Prilly is what Maggie calls me. That is the nickname that she has called me for years, absolutely years, and she calls me Prilly. So that is where I got Prilly. Pop, I have no idea where that come from. Um, and 89 is my birth year. So that's where it comes from. Uh, so it, it, this channel means a lot to me in the fact that two of the biggest parts of my life are entirely focused on it. Uh, both my name and my YouTube art. Um, yeah, I, I have immortalised them forever. 
Uh, so yeah, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video um, and learned some new things with me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and yeah, thanks for following. Please remember to like and subscribe and um, so you can keep up to date with me. I release about one video a week. And always remember, be brave, be amazing, be you. And keep shining. All my love, Pretty Pop.